guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while since I've sat down and filmed a video for you guys. It has been quite a year. I cannot believe that it's June of 2019 already. I feel like this year is going by so fast and last year it took forever. I, I don't know, is that just me? Give it, this video a like if you feel that way too. I will be posting videos once a week here on my YouTube channel, so please, please subscribe if you are new. Um, hi, my name is Sammy and I post videos here on YouTube and I am a senior right now and I will be graduating and next year I will be going to college. If you want to know my plans for next year, go follow my Instagram because I actually made a post about that. So, I'm back. I'm better than ever. This year has been a roller coaster. It, it has been so great. I have no complaints. I really have been just living my best life this year. Um, a lot of self-growth, personally, professionally. I just thought I needed a little break off of YouTube because I was just so busy with colleges, college auditions, um, school, musicals, shows, college decisions, everything. I'm just really happy where I am right now um, and I really want to get back into the YouTube grind and I want to start filming videos for you guys, videos that you want to see and I'm excited to be back. So today I'm going to be filming a what's on my iPhone. So if you want to see what's on my iPhone, keep on watching. Let's get into the video. So I have the iPhone XR. I got this baby early January of this year and I just have the regular white one. I really, really love my phone. I used to have the iPhone Success, and I had it throughout all my four years in high school and I just thought it was a new time since I was going to be going to college. I just needed a new phone senior year. My case is from Wildflower. I've always wanted a case from Wildflower and I thought getting a new phone, why not invest in a good case? I love it so, so, so much. And on it I have my Michigan SMTD pop socket. I got it during Accepted Students Weekend, um, and yeah, I just, it doesn't really match the aesthetic of my phone, but <laughs> I just like representing my school. Uh, yeah, this is basically my phone. Let's get into what's on it. So when you open my phone, you see my home screen. My wallpaper is just this yellow wallpaper that has a little quote, and it says, believe in yourself, a little daisy. I love this. I actually just recently put it on. I like to change up my wallpapers. So basically, when you unlock my phone, we have the FaceTime app. I use that a lot. My calendar, I don't really use that a lot. I hear that the Google Calendar is better, but I just like writing things down and using my agenda. Um, next app, I have my Photos app, my camera, mail. Then I have clock, all my alarm clocks, and my bedtime stuff, and stuff like that. Then I have my music, folder which basically I have garage band the piano I use the piano when I'm trying to find a note and I'm somewhere where there is no piano to be found I have guitar tuna <laughs> this is basically an app that helps me tune my guitar when I need to tune it again my ukulele app um, helps me tune my ukulele next I have stage tracks stage tracks is basically an app that lets you listen to songs and an album where the show has guaranteed its license and given you its license to listen to these tracks. Um, for my school, we did the musical Chicago and we needed the karaoke track so we used this app so we could practice at home. Then I have tabs, basically this is guitar tabs or ultimate guitar where you can find chords of songs. Then my next folder, I have maps. Basically, I have all of my maps apps in here. First, I have Google Maps. I really, really like Google Maps. It just kind of speeds things up for you, like it tries to find the fastest route for you. Next, I have regular maps. Pretty nice. Waze. Waze is the best app when you are driving. I don't drive, but when my mom is driving, I use Waze. It basically just finds the fastest route for you, but it also gives you information on if there's a police nearby, if there's been a crash reported. Next, I have the Metro and Bus app. I use this 
to Metro because oh, last summer I was in a theater program and I had to Metro all the time and now I'm a Metro Pro but I do use this app so it can let me know if there's one close by. Then I have weather, notes, app store, settings, I have Uber, I Uber everywhere. Next I have Starbucks, I am a Starbucks fan, I really really like Starbucks. I have the phone app, Safari, Messages, Apple Music, Apple Music is where it's at. I really really enjoy the playlists on Apple Music. Next we move on to the second page which is also the only page where I have all of my apps. Home, socials, shop, photo, school, TV, health, business, games, money, mind, and safety. So let's open the first folder, which is the home, which is basically the regular things that you have on your iPhone. Voice memos, compass, measure, calculator, contacts, find iPhone, wallet, and news. In the next folder, I have all of my social media. So I have Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. I use WhatsApp normally to contact my international family and friends. My best friend lives in Brussels. That's how sometimes we get in contact. I get in contact with her mom, some of my cousins, my grandma or my parents when they're out of the country. Then I have this app called Slack. And basically Slack is just an app where you can connect to other groups. So I was a brand ambassador for a brand a few months back and we used Slack to kind of connect with each other and get to know each other, all of the brand ambassadors. It was a cool app. I have Twitter, follow me on Twitter. I like to post tweets now. I am using it regularly. Then I have Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts is basically an app where you can talk to people who don't have FaceTime. So all those Android users, <laughs> um, I'll use Google Hangouts to kind of FaceTime with my Android friends. Then I have YouTube, gotta have YouTube in there. And then I have Bitmoji that you can use for Snapchat, that you have to have the Bitmoji app on your phone to be able to use your Bitmoji on Snap. So I have that there. In the next folder is basically my shop folder. I have Depop. Depop is an app where you can sell your old clothes and buy thrifted clothes. So follow me on Depop at Samantha Rios. My next app, I have Expedia. I use Expedia when I am buying my travel tickets and I need to go somewhere and you can just use your phone and check in this way. Then I have Groupon. Groupon lets you buy things on a cheaper level. Um, I bought some kickboxing classes through Groupon. I'm gonna get some yoga classes through Groupon. Then I have Urban Outfitters. I use Urban Outfitters usually when I wanna shop. If you shake your phone, the QR code pops up and you scan it so you can get rewards when you're shopping. So I have that app. Then I have Shein. Cute clothes are always on this website. The next app I have is Hitlist. Hitlist, I like this app because it allows you to get really cheap plane tickets. I also have ASOS. ASOS is a clothing store and they sell a bunch of stuff and I just like looking through. Then we have Uber Eats. Oh girl, I had a problem with Uber Eats this year. You place an order on food and it is delivered to you. I really like Uber Eats. It's nice. Thank you Uber. Then I have Today Ticks. You can get really cheap tickets to go see shows sometimes and I really enjoy that. Then I have the app Macy's. I really like Macy's. I like to shop on Macy's.com. <laughs> Next I have Zaffle. Zaffle is another app that's kind of like Shein and Romwe. In the next folder I have all of my photo apps and all my photo editing apps. So first I have Unum. Unum lets you plan out your Instagram layout and all your photos. So here are the photos that I posted, but I also get to kind of play around and see how it works for my feed. Um, next, I have Lightroom. Lightroom is an app where it basically allows you to edit pictures and it also allows you to use other people's presets. Then I have Visco. Visco, again, just some cool things. Um, I like to edit my pictures through Visco. Then I have Google Photos. Guys, life hack, download Google Photos. So Google Photos, what it will do is it downloads all of your photos and then you can delete the photos on your phone. But it'll stay on Google Photos and on your Google account. So even if you delete the app and you get a new phone, 
download the phone and it'll have all of your pictures backed up and it saves so much space on your phone. You don't have to keep all of those pictures on your iPhone. It'll be on the app Google Photos. Life hack. I have the app Facetune. I use Facetune sometimes. Who doesn't? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I use it to smooth out some stuff on my pictures. Sometimes I use the whiting effect. Next, I have Unfold. Unfold is basically an app that allows you to create really cool Instagram stories and it gives you layouts and just really nice stuff. Next, I have Camera Connect. Camera Connect allows me to connect with my camera. So if I'm filming, I can use this to see how it's coming out. It's really good. Then I have the app Fonto. I use Fonto to edit my thumbnails and it's just another photo editing app. Next, I have the app Color Tone. Color Tone, again, is another photo editing app that I just use to sometimes edit my pictures. I use a lot of apps, that's the thing. I don't really have a set filter and a set app that I edit all my photos in. I kind of just like to play around. Then I have Hooji. Then I have Snow. Snow is a really good app for Instagram stories. So then I have the app Tezza. Tezza is an app where basically you can edit stuff. It lets you use presets. Then I have this app called Cooniecam. VHS cam and VHS cam. These camera apps basically allow you to record videos. Then I have my school folder and in my school folder I have all my school apps. I have Google Classroom. I use that to keep track of all my classes. Remind. Remind is basically an app where it allows the teacher to text the students. Um, I have student view. I check all my grades. Canvas. We use that now in school instead of Blackboard, which is, again, keeping track of all your classes, all your coursework and materials. I have Gmail, like to check all my mail. Acuity scheduling, um, I have an acting coach, and this is how I schedule all my classes with him. Um, then I have Google Docs, I have the Michigan app. <laughs> I have Duo Mobile. Duo Mobile basically allows you to, um, if someone is logging into your school account, it has to let you press accept for them to be logged in so that's just basically do a mobile then i have vpn 360 my school blocks instagram snapchat netflix everything so this is just a vpn that i use in school so the wi-fi doesn't block all my stuff then i have write my professor um i've been looking at classes to take for next year and i've been looking at this app to see if these professors are chill or not or like really mean i don't know i just have been using the app to kind of get a feel then i have the app scholly scholly is basically an app that allows you to find scholarships and you know we need that money for college so i've been using that then i have my tv folder um i have amazon prime video i have netflix hulu we have xfinity and it allows us to kind of rewatch episodes that have already been aired Next, in the health folder, I have the regular health app. Then I have the happiness planner app. If you're not a big person on writing things down, you like to have apps, this is a really good app and it's free. Then I have habit minder. Habit minder, you can add habits and stuff that you want to be reminded through throughout the day and it'll remind you. I have a habit of meditating and practicing my vocal warm ups and it just kind of reminds me that throughout the day. Then I have the app sleep cycle. Sleep cycle is really good because it tracks your sleep. It helps me wake up at a point where I'm not super tired or groggy and I'm kind of just ready to be woken up. Then I have the app Clue. Clue is an app that helps you, remind you of your period and when it is coming. Then there's this app called Be My Eyes. Actually, I haven't really used this app. So basically this app helps you lend your eyes to the blind. So let's say someone dropped a fork, they don't know where it is. Um, they'll FaceTime in the they'll FaceTime or face chat someone in the app and it'll send it to everyone and whoever picks it up first gets to help them. I read a lot of reviews on this and a lot of people like it. It's legit. I actually haven't used it yet, so um, and I also heard that it takes a few months for you to actually get your first call. But I just thought it would be a good app to um, download and to actually use so I'll keep you guys updated when I start using that then I have the app text to speech whenever I'm kind of on vocal rest I will use this when I'm not talking I'll just type things and it'll speak for me because sometimes you need to give your voice a rest then I have fast habit um, I started intermittent fasting I think a month ago and 
this just kind of helps me track my fasting. If you guys want to see a video on that, I will gladly make one. Then in the next folder, I have the business folder. I have heartbeat. Heartbeat is where I sometimes find some of my branded campaigns and it just helps me find brands that are looking for influencers to post on their behalf. Then I have influencer again, same thing. Then I have backstage. Backstage is just an app where I get to find casting calls that are near me. I actually booked a job last year through this. Then I have Pinterest. Um, I use this to just kind of get inspired. Next I have We Heart It. We Heart It is very similar to Pinterest, except I find it more aesthetically pleasing. Then I have T-Mobile Tuesdays. If you have T-Mobile, you should download this app. I don't know why a lot of people don't know about this app, but if you have T-Mobile, you get grant you get gifted a few things every Tuesday. So on Tuesdays they give you either so you get Taco Bell free nacho cheese Doritos. Um, I'll usually use the Dunkin' Donuts one. They'll give you a free medium latte every Tuesday. Then I have YouTube Studio. Basically helps you connect and lets you know all the stats and analytics based on your YouTube channel and how your videos are doing. Then I have Facebook page. It helps me control basically my Facebook page online. Then in the next folder, I have all my games. So Luminosity, it's they're kind of like brain games. Um, I don't ever play this, I'm not gonna lie. Then I have One Second Every Day. One Second Every Day allows you to kind of put one second videos of your every single day. So it, this is hard to keep track of because I always forget. Then my money folder, I have PayPal, SunTrust, and Venmo. Then in my next folder, it's my mind folder. So I have Nike training. I use this sometimes to get little workouts when I'm working out and just kind of get ideas. Then I have the motivation app. This motivation app just reminds you and gives you quotes throughout the day. Next, Sprinkle of Jesus. Sprinkle of Jesus is also another app that kind of sends you reminders throughout the day, but this is just more faithful messages. Um, and you can also shop online and watch videos. Then I have the app Headspace. I use Headspace every day. Headspace is a guided meditation app. I really, really like it. I don't have the subscription. I just use the free one and I keep reusing my basic courses. Um, I really, really like it. I meditate through this app and then sometimes I'll meditate on my own. But if you are in need of a guided meditation and you need something to follow, this is a really good app. Then I have CoStar. CoStar is a horoscope app kind of updates you and telling you what is going on in your life. Then I have the Daily Horoscope app. I'm an Aquarius, so again, it just kind of gives me my horoscope of the day. So the difference between CoStar and Daily Horoscope. CoStar is definitely more detailed and more specific and it tells you your rising signs and Daily Horoscope just tells you your Daily Horoscope. Then I have the app Bible study. Um, just study in the Bible through the app. Then I have the Holy Bible. Um, then I have Eternal Sunshine. This is definitely probably my favorite app. It reminds me throughout the day, just giving me mantras, happy messages. Then I have Magic 8-Ball because I am an indecisive person and sometimes when I'm like, do I have Chipotle or do I have McDonald's, I will use my Magic 8-Ball to tell me what to choose because I can never choose. <laughs> then I have the podcast app. Um, I use this app a lot on a regular, regular basis. I really enjoy podcasts. I really like the Gold Digger podcast. She's incredible. I like Joel Osteen um, and The Lively Show. Those are probably my favorite and the TED Talks as well. Then I have the app TED, TED Talks. Um, I use this app when I want to listen to a TED Talk. Then I have Audible. Audible just lets you listen to audiobooks. Then my last folder. I have my safety apps. So first I have the Circle of Six app, which it allows you to choose six people. And um, sometimes when you're in danger or you feel like you can't actually physically call them, you just press the Circle of Six and it allows you to call them or send you them your location. And then I have Find Friends, which allows me to track where my friends are sometimes. <laughs> Mainly where my sister is or my parents. That's basically what's on my iPhone. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. All the links will be in the description box down below. I love you guys so, so much. Muchos besos. Bye.